Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to create a system repair or boot CD or DVD disc on your Windows 10 device. So this is going to be a pretty straightforward tutorial and will apply for earlier versions of Windows as well. So this is especially useful when you're trying to have a system repair utility if your computer is experiencing problems. It's definitely a nice additional option to boot your computer from if you're experiencing problems with the built-in troubleshooter as well as if you're trying to download and run the Windows installer and trying to get through a troubleshooting menu that way. Um, this just offers another alternative to that. So we're going to jump right into it and we are going to start by heading over to Start Menu. And you want to left click on it. And then we're going to type in File, History. Underneath Settings on Windows 10, there should be something that says Restore Your Files with File History. You want to left click on this button. So it should be something if your file history is off. You want to left click on Configure File History Settings by left clicking on that. And I'm going to close out of this other window here. It's no longer necessary. And now in the most important thing on this window is the bottom left corner where it says System Image Backup. You want to left click on that. You want to left click on the button that says Create a System Repair Disk right here. There should be something that says Select a CD, DVD drive and insert a blank disk into the drive. A system repair disk can be used to boot your computer. It also contains Windows system recovery tools that can help you recover Windows from a serious error or restore your computer from a system image. So all you would do at this point is just put a CD or DVD into your computer. Make sure you select the right drive. In most cases it will be the D drive and there should only be one applicable drive or at most two for most of you guys. Just with selected and then left click on create disk and it'd be a pretty automatic process from there. It would do it all automatically for you. And then at that point you could boot up your computer and then hopefully you'd be able to run this utility and you could figure out what was creating the problem on your computer as this tool was designed to do. So I hope this brief tutorial helped you guys out and I will catch you in the next video. Goodbye.